Look how you guys move. Like snakes. Oh, D, we do whatever's necessary to stay on top. You are aware that you ain't in the D no more. This Atlanta. Some lines ain't for the cross, man. Terry ordered that hit on Saint. It's one thing to think he's guilty. It's another to prove it. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, BMF, season three, episode two, review, and they dropped us a character who looks like they love shopping at Adam and Eve. We're going to discuss that. Can Meech, I mean, excuse me, can Terry be alone? Is he the type of cat that's got to have a woman everywhere he go on his arm? He can't be by himself. We'll discuss that. And for the first time ever, ladies and gentlemen, I am going live not only on YouTube, but I'm also live on the TikTok. So if you're following me on TikTok, please post your comments. You'll be hearing commentary from these other wonderful, wonderful creators I'm bringing on. All that starts right now. I'm up early for the dealers come out. Everybody is outside till the killers come out. You ain't eating, you just act full. I'm impactful. Dozen funerals in a month. I got that full. I will give it to niggas in all rap forms. Ignatius out right now on all platforms. Well, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. You're in the building with the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Sexy as hell host this Life Games channel. That's me. And joining me today, we've got a hammer and we got Mo Money, no problems. Monique, let's say hello to these <laughs> lovely, lovely ladies of Life Games. Monique, how you feeling today? I am good. <clears throat> I'm five minutes from the house, so excuse me being in the car, but I wanted to be on time. I'm working on being on time, Lamont. Mm -hmm. I'm working on that, brother. No more CP time for Momo. So I'm here. Thank you for having me. It's always an honor to be here. What's up, Moochie Moochie? Well, you, you know the hammer always keep her stuff on, on mute. We're gonna I have know. to start we're gonna have to start call, calling her mute moochie because she always stay on mute. But I she's here <laughs> and we'll get to her in a second. Um as we start to talk about this episode, let me go ahead and do some house cleaning for everybody. Okay. Life Games is getting sponsored, so I want to shout out those sponsors. Ooh. Headphones, Vessi, I appreciate y'all working with me. TikTok, I appreciate you working with me as well as we break down all feet. the things From that have happened. Battle Blue Chief Race Northwest. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's all Ooh. good, y'all. Um, ghetto. Sorry, sorry. Ooh. Yeah. Please be sure to download the Life Games podcast. You can find that on any one of your favorite podcast players. Of course, on TikTok, I am Life Games One, and we are here to talk about BMF and the Moochie. The Hammer has finally got her stuff together. How you feeling, Mooch? Hi, y'all. What's up? <laughs> hey, Moochie, Moochie. What's up? It seemed like soon as I was getting ready to go on, I got a phone call. I apologize. Uh huh. Oh, it's all good. We we know we know y'all women stay busy out there on them streets. Um, y'all probably was there the same time Henrietta was at Adam and Eve's getting that elephant dick. I'm sure y'all was there. I don't know about we gotta talk that. about that, yo. We gotta talk about that. That shit was crazy, yo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. Let's get into it. Let's start from the very let's start from the very beginning. This episode was a mess, and we start out with Marquisha. Damn it. I told y'all this chick was a problem. And Momo, you got here first. So let's talk about her. Let's talk about what she did. TikTok audience, we're looking at a picture of Marquisha from episode two when she's sitting in her bed, halfway dressed, telling Terry, I don't know if I want you. I don't know if we should stay together. Um, you, I need you to move out, but we can still be together. And I'm thinking, B, you want me to move out this house, leave you here in a house I just bought. And we can date, but I got to stay somewhere else. And she basically breaks up with him. Momo, how did you feel about her? And Sir. you wasn't here. How did you feel about Marquisha breaking up with T? Marquisha is a fool. She is a <laughs> fool. And she is making us women look so bad. Now, look, if y'all know me, y'all know I, I, I'm, I'm fair. I'm fair all around. I don't just call out men. I call out women too. You Marquisha, do. Marquisha, Marquisha 
is making us look hella bad. Let me get her together real quick. First of all, bitch, you was <laughs> out here in these streets. You was out here in these streets with another known drug dealer knowing your baby father was psycho. Mm -hmm. Knowing you have kids to live for. Okay? Your ass got caught up and got shot at. So God spared you. You ain't, you ain't, you know, you ain't die. All right. This man comes in, your knight in shining armor. Say he gonna buy a house for y'all. Put you and your kids up. Take care of your kids. You know how hard it is to find a man like that? Take mm -hmm. care of your kids. You're pitting them. You're pitting it. And you then fix your lips to say to him, Boom is still my husband, bitch. This nigga trying to kill you. <laughs> what you talking about, boom? See, I was okay with, I was actually okay with everything else that she said. But when she said that line, boom is still my husband. When she said that, Mochi, I was like, yo, this bitch is gone. She, There's no saving her. What did J. Cole say? Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Wow. She don't want to be saved. Mm. Okay. So off with her head. I'm done with Markeisha. I have no sympathy. All I care about is those kids and, you know, and their well-being because they didn't ask to be here. They didn't ask to have this lifestyle. So that's my only concern. But as far as Markeisha go, I don't care what happened with her. I don't give a... I don't care. Off. Yeah. Off with her head. I don't care. Wow. Audience, we are talking about Markeisha on BMF and what is her problems. For my TikTok folks out there, please share this live with your friends. Tell them we in here talking about what is going on in episode two of season three. Moochie, get, a, get in here on, Mar on Markeisha. Now, first of all, she's a little older. And the older chicks typically have their stuff together a little better than this mentally. But she's in here, I can, but I want to. I don't know if I want to. I'm wishy-washy. I'm married. And talk to me about this, Moochie. Why aren't y'all talking about the tissue that she dabbed on her eye when he walked in the room and dropped down the last box? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> when, when, what, did did, did y'all see that? I saw that. Okay, saw I'm that. just saying. <laughs> Markeisha, Markeisha is a bird. And oh. Terry is getting played. Mm. She see she once she did the like, I'm done with her. I already had like my bad feelings on it. But once you walked in that house, mm. once you walked in the Flannery home, mm -hmm. and you walked up in there thinking you was queen of sheep wow. and going up and sleeping in that boy's room because that's mm. what he you you played yourself. Right, right. You played yourself. She's officially a bird. You know, as as my Detroit people say, he's a simp. Mm. Okay, so you know it is what it is. Wow. So Markeisha is a bird and Terry is a simp. Mm. Yes. And mm -hmm. if 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 Terry was smart enough when she said, I can't do this no more, and right. boom and boom is my husband, he should have said, Where am I taking you next? That's right. Because you're not staying here. You right. you telling him you can't be with him. Meanwhile, you looking at every expensive chandelier to put up in that home. That, how you thing. gonna have that same conversation and say I can't be with you at the same time? Wow. Right. Wow. Well, she says she gonna be with him, y'all. She yeah, says she... we can we can be together, but we can't live together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you know what that means, Momo. She gonna come, he gonna come there from time mm -hmm. to time, hit her off with the D and stay with his baby mother. That's what she wants. She yep. wants that to be her his get low spot. The yep. house that he bought to have a family with her is his mm -hmm. get low spot. So since yes. he's get low spot, he gotta start treating her like she is a hoe. I'm sorry. I agree. I agree. Wow. Wow, I, I agree. Y'all hearing this? The lady saying Markeisha needs to be treated like she is nothing but a common whore mm -hmm. that you find like in the players. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, we'll move on to this, y'all. Y'all from nuts. T and his crew <laughs> find out that they plug has been ratted on by the K9 and is going to jail. Moochie, when you saw this, what was you thinking when the plug got arrested and found out that 
K9 ratted on him. Mm. Moochie, you on mute, honey. Here we go again in my DMX voice. <laughs> Oh, we were like, yo, it's like now they on the hunt for a plug again. Right, right. They stay looking. It's like they stay looking for the plug. It's like this is the, the revolving doorstep for um when you in this game, you got to find the plug everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. Momo, what did you think about this when they found the plug? Me personally, Momo, I was thinking when they talked about K9 not ratting on BMF last mm -hmm. episode and when he didn't rat on him, I said, he's going to want some kind of vengeance. Well, we find out he didn't rat on him because he ratted on the plug, which I'm sure he's thinking is going to hurt their business. How did you see it? Yeah, I didn't see that coming. So I just, now I'm questioning. I thought that he didn't rat on BMS because he had respect for me and, you know, all that. So like you said, though, him ratting on the plug is going to affect meet in a negative way you know Damn so right. is does he have a change of heart now i don't i don't really know how to call it N well no I, I, you know i don't think k9 had a change of heart i think that this was in his heart the whole time he was gonna get him but you know what's what's just about as bad as going to jail mm -hmm. is taking your plug like you just cutting yeah. off all, all your ends you know yeah. So that's just about as bad. So, yeah, I was like, man, they messed up. Shout out to Big Dog on the TikTok stream, hanging in here, following us as we do this BMF episode two, season three. And Momo, you get this one first, because I've been trying to tell y'all, uh -oh. we can't trust this clown. Hold Ooh, on. Go to, um, go to Moochie first. Go to Moochie. Okay, Moochie, we'll go to you, Moochie. Moochie, I've been telling you we can't trust Stacks. Mm -hmm. Michi, Michi has a new plan of how they're going to get this plug. And Stax is basically giving you this look right here. Like, you know, you can tell me and we need to bring the heat. I'm going to bring the heat. Talk to me about what you was thinking the way they put this camera angle on him. And he's sitting up there basically telling me, telling me, tell me all your business, my brother. I don't trust him. Mm -hmm. I don't trust him at all. Mm -hmm. um, he's just sticking close so he could. I think he's sticking close to to. Because right now he has no other choice because Ty Washington was his plug. But I think he's going to do some finagling stuff. Now, keep in mind that Meech did give him a lower price for the keys that he charged him. Now, if he's helping him sell the rest of them all, how much is he going? Is he going to do something slick and take some off the top for himself and overcharge? I'm watching this dude. Right. Right. Yeah. You, you got to keep your eyes on him, man. Like I said, anyone who wants to give themselves an entertainment name of two chains probably ain't got too much trust in him. So Monique, talk, talk to us, Momo. What did you think about this thing with um, Stacks? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I still don't trust him. But they did have like a little nice moment later in the episode, right? Where Meech was like, yo, I appreciate you, dog. Like, I couldn't have done this without you. Da -da 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 -da. So did I miss something? Is this confirmation that he's grimy or are we still speculating? No, I mean, we technically still speculating. Okay. But but I, I mean, for me, y'all know I don't mind jumping off into the deep end of the pool early. Mm -hmm. And and uh, I stands by it until I get further confirmation. Right. No, I don't trust this cat. I don't trust him no further than I can cut his damn hair. Right. And I can't cut his hair because I ain't got no clippers. I don't trust him. Sure. I don't trust him. <laughs> I don't trust him. <laughs> I don't trust him, but they had a little moment in the episode. So I'm like, all right, let me just keep my good eye on him and see what unfolds but yeah he's well, still, no. still on my radar for sure well, no. if i'm trying to deceive you exactly i am, I am gonna have good moments with you you know exactly. it might be burning my soul up because i really don't care for you but i am going to play oscar winning performance to get you right. to think you can trust me you I know agree. that's why i say i still got my what my good eye on him so okay. <laughs> 
Okay. Well, as young as you are, I hope that both of your eyes is very, very good. And I hope we ain't got to have no conversation about bad eyes no time. <laughs> No time in the next 75 years, okay? <laughs> we we going to keep it right. Now, this was funny. Lord have mercy. I'm going to go to you first on this mo. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what is it, Mommy? Because this, this episode had a lot of wild stuff that happened. Yeah, this was funny. So, Charles gets someone coming looking for meat, right? And <laughs> <laughs> the, nobody in this gang speaking no English I know, okay? Mm -hmm. And they was looking for meat. The only English they knew was meat. And they was trying to walk in. Um, when I saw this Momo, I didn't think it was nothing dangerous because if they wanted to do something, they could have. Exactly. But what, what was funny to me was when Charles went and got that damn little basement hammer thinking it was Mjolnir from, from, from Thor or Stormbreaker. Right. Like he was hitting him with the hammer. I was like, Chuck, Chuck, don't you understand if these amigos wanted to do something to you, that's the hammer they got in their back pocket would have handled you from jump. So Ooh. talk to me about this. Um, and the other thing, other thing I thought about too, Momo. Meech, Terry, you're not protecting your family if everybody in America and even in another damn country know how to get to your parents' house. What? The, come on, man. Floor is yours. Floor is yours. Thank you for saying that, because that shit crossed my mind. I'm like, damn. What kind <laughs> yeah. of setup is this? Like, y'all didn't learn y'all's lesson when um Lamar ro uh, rolled up on, on your mom's? Like, y'all didn't learn your lesson, and they still don't peek through the little window to see who at the door? I mean, I right. probably learned their lesson by now. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, like you said, did they give me threatening energy a little bit? But I knew they weren't going to do anything, because like you said, if they wanted to, they would have busted up in their guns blazing, but it yeah. looks like they wanted to get some information more than anything. So, but yeah. I understand Charles' position. He's like, Who the hell are you? You know, you rolling up on, you know, I got a family to protect. So I get it. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, that, the hammer scene, uh, someone said Charles borrowed Moochie's hammer. <laughs> No. Yes, I look. No. This is bigger. It's right. I ain't gonna let them play you like that, Moochie. We know your hammer way bigger than that. Hey. Right? <laughs> Take the no, floor, Charles' hammer is bigger. I got some little thinky thing. Hey. <laughs> but anywho, I was laughing. It tickled me because he picked it up. <laughs> he picked that up thing. Not only that, it looked like. Loco looked like he related to um to Charles in the Stop. mouth area because of the glasses. So I'm like, don't he look like a, a, a light skinned version of Charles with the glasses on? I'm saying you can't really tell just around the mouth and the jaw area. So I was mm -hmm. calm, like clowning him on that. But I thought this scene was crazy. Now y'all understand why Charles did not want me in the house, y'all. You know what? Just coming to his home. Mm -hmm. This is crazy right now. You right. got mad people coming in here, and now you don't know if they friend or foe. It's too yeah. many people that know where they live. Just like everybody know where Tommy live. What is going on with the drug king, y'all? Right, right, right. Like, where's your discreet lair? You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, saying. Everybody like do they call 411? Do they call um is there some kind of a directory service for drug dealer parents' cribs or something? Because like damn, everybody know where the house is at and showing up. Like you gotta fix that, man. Come on now. Okay, Dimitri, 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 Dimitri. I mean, look, man. You, you know, if you if you if you don't speak the Queen's English, you're gonna you're gonna pronunciate some words a little offhand and stuff like that. Not even um, the not even the. No, nah, I wasn't even that though. It's you got people coming in government. for your kid. It's a fact that uses government name for me. That's what cracked me up. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, Moochie, I'm gonna let you get this one first because we learned a lot about this. Was this whole situation is sad? Oh, oh we God. meet Cynthia, who is playing the mother of Kat. Mm. And we learn that just as bad as a dad coach cop was, she was not much better of a mom either. Mm -hmm. And she basically tried to put the onus and blame on him by saying that she sent this boy way too older to try to learn how to be a man from coach cop. And her whole problem was 
Her schedule is so chaotic that she can't even deal with them. So, Moochie, take the floor. How did you feel about this and Coach Cop needing to go to her to get some money? All right. I got a whole bunch of problems with this. Okay. Because I'm I'm a, a blue-collar worker and so is my ex. Right. And this, and me and him didn't, don't, we, we, get, a, we get along for the sake of the kid. Right. But this right here and all of the blame game. I'm still mad at her because how Meech and them know about your son getting arrested and you don't, and it was in the paper. Mm. I had a whole rant about this, Lamont. Gloria, where are you? Mm -hmm. Gloria, where are you? G L O R I A, where the heck are you? What are you doing? How you don't know that your son got caught up in the mix? Right. How you not find one of the, the paper? I understand that, and y'all. But if he can't get this job with, with the security, come on now. Where did all your money go? I know I keep revisiting this, but I'm right. having a problem with this. They both failed this boy. They, they both did. failed Kevin. And they she did. Sucked that, though. She, took, she, she sucks as a parent, and so does Detective Bryant. She took mm -hmm. ownership, though. She did. Jump on in there, Momo. Yeah. No, she she passed it off to him, too, though. She I'm did supposed to be... Right. She was like, I'm supposed to be... um. You're supposed to be um protecting him. You're supposed to be doing this. Well, what were you doing? You, I mean, you still got to be a mom. You, you still got to be a mom. I understand that, but the onus is always going to go to the parent who has the child. She just signed control. him over. You mean to tell me she ain't getting... They, they, they prepared this kid with no survival skills? Well, that's he know, doesn't I'm, know how you understand. You, I, I'm, I have a problem with it. I'm not gonna stay on it long, so let's move no, on. No, I see what you're saying. She sucks as a parent, and so does he. She, she they, and and I don't. I feel like neither one of them took accountability. They was passing it off to each other, and then she just wrote out a check and dismissed him. That's what she did. Wow, you think that's the only check that's gonna be cut? Damn. Well, she's saying she ain't got money, so now wh where did he go next? That's why I'm saying that we saw where he went next, and we're gonna get to, we're gonna All get right. to Momo. What you think about the situation? Oh, so they I agree with Moochie that they both failed Kevin, 100%. right? Yes, in the beginning of the conversation, it was a ping, ping pong match about blame, but at by the end of the conversation, she said we both played a part we both failed whatever word she used so she did take ownership and at that point she was like look this is all the money i got you know but i understand there's you know two things can be true i do agree that both is it's both of their responsibility mm -hmm. at the same time she's thinking you're the man you're the you're a cop you're definitely gonna look out for us i mean it's the same thing with like um with like boys in the hood, whenever um Angela Bass's character gave Trey over to um what you call it, Lawrence Fishburne. It's just like he's in your care. So if something goes left, obviously I'm gonna look at you like WTF. But whether you're in the house or not, yes, it is still your responsibility to be a parent to your child. So at the end of the day, my final answer is yes, they both failed. Kevin, I think that what's his name? Detect what's his name? The officer Brian. 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 I think Brian sheltered him so much to the point where he like enabled him and like really certain there's certain conversations. I feel like when you are a father and you have a, a son, you should be having certain conversations. You know what I mean? Like, you know, he was a softer kid. You know, he had problems standing up for himself. You know, he was being bullied. There's just certain things that I think he could have coached him on a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's really unfortunate how all of this um, played out. I feel really sad for the kid. I think, Mo, I think that he was sheltered by mom and I think that he was detached by dad. Mm -hmm. Dad basically left him on his own. Dad wasn't doing any helping rear him, helping raise him. Yeah. And, and mom basically gave him up because she said, I can't do nothing with him. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, both both parents are terrible. Yeah. Mom sheltered him and then said, I can't do nothing with this young man, so I'm going to give him to you. And then when dad get him, dad yeah. don't play no role in his life mm -hmm. because he don't like who he has become being raised by mom. Yeah. 
I that this is the part I don't understand. How you a coach and you let your own son fall by the wayside? Um, I, I, this right. is what I have a problem yeah. with. Yeah. You're a coach, you let your own kid fall on the right wayside. Meanwhile, you hustling with the other young dudes. Yeah. Yeah. You, you yeah. yo, he's trash to me. That's yeah, yeah. He's that's trash true. to me. He put his job right. in front of his kid. Yes. Yes. He put his job in front of his kid. Now he's suspended, and now you have now your kid is fighting for his freedom. Yep. Right. But you still not handling this right. Right. Yeah. Yep. yep. All right. Shout out to everybody who's joined me on the TikTok. Hi, Mimi's Kitchen. <laughs> um, nice to see you as well. Shout out to everybody joining me on YouTube live streaming. We've got about 150 on the YouTube. Ooh. And we've got about 100 on the TikTok. So Ooh. I appreciate both of y'all coming through, showing Ooh. some love. Um, right. Momo, you get this one first. Mm -hmm. I, we got to meet a heavenly body. Ooh. This picture right here. We've her seen name, her before. Her name is Angel. And guess who she's the girlfriend of? Greenie. But Meech sees an opportunity to get close to the right hand of somebody so that he can use that opportunity to figure out the plug. But then we learn he's Meech's, he's Greenie's girl. Greenie is treating her like she is a dilapidated tire on a car and basically got her out on these streets, pimping her the hell out. Mm -hmm. And so... Talk to me about what you was thinking Michi was going to do when you heard his plans dealing with her. Um, first of all, we've seen her before. <clears throat> she played um, Mississippi's sister in P-Valley. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. He is gorgeous. That body is whew, bodying. Um, I mean, I knew I knew Mo uh, uh, Meech had his eye on her. I, mm -hmm. I, I know that, you know what I mean. Meech is a man that kind of gets what he wants. You know, he has a he has the way his way with the ladies. You know what I'm saying? He's a he's a smooth operator. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what he is. Huh? He's a smooth he operator. Is a smooth operator, baby. So uh -huh. I'm not surprised that. Everything ended up working out in his favor later on in the episode. Um, but yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, what do you got to say, Mooch? And hey, Carolina, tell Mike I said hello. We miss y'all and those wonderful, wonderful desserts y'all used to make back in North Carolina, and now y'all down there in Florida. And I hope the sun is shining on y'all so beautifully. Go ahead, Moochie. I I feel like. Uh... Greenie's orchestrating all of this. He, he's been watching me. Oh, he's okay. orchestrating all of this. And he knows. He, remember, a couple of days ago, he, he told her that, that she was out of their league. He mm -hmm. can't talk to that right now because the NBA players was there. But now everything is okay today. Right. You got to watch yeah. people like that. I yeah, don't trust do. them. I don't trust nobody. I'm, I mean, that's just me with my um, with my thing that's going on. But I feel like he's gonna look for it in a way, and these girls know who the players are because they get in the dough. Mm -hmm. they, they they the four one one of the streets. We we think Moochie keep her ear to the streets. The four one one to the streets in big cities is them chicks in them clubs. They know mm -hmm. everything because Moochie always likes to talk about after a man nut. And we yeah, yeah, there you go. Look, we, we get you get all the secrets, right? Yeah, but, you know they go deaf. And blind for three seconds. But so Moochie. You can ask all your questions <laughs> then, y'all, ladies. So but Moochie, to, you know. Moochie, prior to the nut, mm -hmm. if it looks like we about to be in a situation to have that, mm -hmm. you can get all the information, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, And so if you really want information about what's going on in the city, go to the hottest club in town. You're going to get all the information you yeah, want. You're going to get the information. They're going to tell you who getting paid, who got a big mm -hmm. mouth, who talk when they get some, all of that stuff. All who, that. Who's getting money and who's a threat. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you, <laughs> Carolina, for that rose on TikTok. Very <laughs> grateful as we're trying to grow this thing, too. I'm going to give this one to Momo first, Moochie, because Momo is going to understand everything I was saying the last time she was on my live. Uh -oh. I said specifically. What did you say? What did you say? I said specifically that some of the onus and anger that is on LaWanda, she's got to hold that stuff accountable herself. 
because mm. you cannot let this man, every time he disappear on you, come back. And what is she doing right here, Momo? She's letting him right back in because she's sprung, like T-Pain. She yeah. is sprung. And she was trying to act all hard and coy right here as she reveals that she is pregnant with his child. But later on, we seen her broke down hugging and kissing again. So, Momo, the floor is yours. What are we going to do about this LaWanda situation? Wow. Wow. cha 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 I was irritated by this. Now, don't get listen. I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. we, all, we have all been guilty of going back to a man that we should not have. So I am not on my high horse. We have all been there. Mm -hmm. However, Kyle, I feel <laughs> like there's a thing called the doghouse. You is not about to play in my face on that caliber that he was doing. And I'm gonna <laughs> wait, put the put me on the camera. Oh yeah, let me let me yeah, let me give her the, the screen time. Okay. <laughs> Terry, <laughs> you feel that kick? <laughs> I'm not doing all that. Uh -oh. Nigga, you just had this heifer in the house yeah. playing in my face. Yeah, you did. You in the doghouse, Negro. I ain't like I wouldn't be doing all that, kick, 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 Terry. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing all that this quickly. Now, I'm going to give her, I'm going to throw her a little bone because she is pregnant. You know, the hormones be raging. The emotions are there. Yeah. It's baby father. That's the only man she's ever loved. So I'm going to give her a little bit of grace for that because I understand as a woman how that can be. However, comma, <laughs> I would not be kissing that Negro no time soon because you was just slobbing and licking and splitting on Marquisha's trifling ass. So. And that's some old pussy too. I mean, that's some old candy drum, by the way, but anyway. Uh, that's, that, that's that vintage. That's that vintage. Yeah, yeah, that vi the vintage panty drawers. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, she probably running around wearing leopard print underwear and stuff like that, you know. So <laughs> The oh. stuff from the seventies, but Moochie, I'll kick it to you. It's like this, and Momo made a great point. When I've always said that the the parents of children always have a, a, a in route back to their to whoever their baby mama, baby daddy is, because you have that bond. That's your child. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever was going on when you had the child, kind of ingratiates you to knowing insider things about said person because that's how y'all got to the baby sometimes, you know? And then that child always is gonna be a connection for y'all to get back together. Is that operating with LaWanda along with the hormones of the new baby or is she still looking to, maybe we can get our family back together? Yeah, that's what she is looking at. And mm -hmm. you gotta look at it like this too. This was in the nineties y'all. Stop bringing today's times back there. Mm -hmm. People was working marriages out and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Social media wasn't all in y'all business and people giving opinions on what you should do with your marriage. Mm -hmm. So she, if they not married, she's a baby mother. She trying to work her family out. That's how I saw it. I, I lived through that. So that's why I'm, I'm going to say it like that. You be wanting to work stuff out for your kids sometimes. So. That's how and, it is. And, and Even during, if you're not married. And during that era, we hadn't got kind of to the point of women are, you know, doing everything, you know, on raising their own. own. They were yeah. they, they yeah. still were really dependent on oh, the, the man. man. Yeah. Right. At that time, people that. would tell you, you can't, you gonna really go and, and raise these kids by yourself. By yourself. It's older people. Like keep in mind. This is the era of Savannah. He's a good man. Uh, no one that right. they cheat. Right. So gotta, and and, and Moochie. You gotta remember stuff like that. People. Even if they cheating. I mean, it was sometimes. Yeah, you supposed to dude, look the other way sometimes, they would tell you. Yeah, yeah, it was sometimes that dudes, if you had the paper, you come in there and beat the hell out of a woman. And people would still tell you, well, you just made a mistake. You stay. Oh, no, yes. You know? And yes. even having said all that, the black woman endured all that and would still wind up having to be raising these kids by her damn self. Yep. Because black women realize real quick, quicker than most, I can do bad all by my damn self. Realize it quick. Hell, sometimes even raising the outside kids, but that's another topic. Yeah, um, man. Um, I, that's why I said 
like she's preg like she's pregnant on top of this. So of course the emotions are there, the hormones are there. She wants to save her family. And that's like I said, that's the only man she's ever loved and known. So it's just a, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, but Terry did her really wrong, and I'm really um disappointed. Just that was that was really trifling what he did. That was yeah. really trifling. What and he we did. see Terry can't be by himself. Mm -mm. A lot of people no shade. A lot of men can't. No shade. Yep. A lot of, a lot of a men. A lot of them can't. A lot of men cannot be by themselves. Well, I mean, I'm highlighting it more with him because look at his brothers, the polar opposite. Yeah. His, yeah. his brother's like, we need to get this paper first. The women gonna come. If you have security, the women gonna come. You just gotta pick out one that's gonna be there for you. This and obviously, Markeisha ain't trying to be there for him. The one that's trying to be there for him, he don't want her. He just want her because he don't want to lay in the bed by herself. Ain't that crazy how life is? Why do we as humans, we always push away the, the person that's really there for us, the person that's really dependable. We always want the opposite, right? We always chase the bad thing. The For women, sometimes we chase the bad guy versus the good guy that's been here all along. You know, it's it's like a psychological thing. It's really weird. It, 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 is, a, it is a societal issue when you're growing up. Mm -hmm. um, there is a peer pressure issue while you're growing up. It really takes a strong mindset to understand and be attracted because here that's the problem. It's attraction. Mm -hmm. Be attracted to what you need and not all the things you want. Mm -hmm. And the older you get, you get to that point. You that's know, a word Lamont. That's a word we preaching today, brother. Yeah, man, you know, <laughs> you know I'm full of them. <laughs> let, 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 now let us get on to another word over here. And shout out to the homeboy said Zeppelin, who's dropping all kinds of stuff for me on the TikTok. We got a chance to get to see Henrietta. They call her Henry. I call her Shim. And she is talking to Terry about the drugs he needs. And she's going to give him, I think it was like 28,000, 28, a key, blah, blah, blah. And it's going to be stepped on. He's like, come on, man. And then after we see her make this deal with him, they show us how tough this woman is, looking like St. Louis from Players Club, by going out there, describing to the homie how she done slept with his woman. This chick was describing every pimple on the girl, but her <laughs> home address, his home address. She was describing how pink the pussy lips was. Oh, she man. was telling everything. <laughs> Monique, you he get this from her. How did you... <laughs> hey, they get... Moochie, <laughs> tell me they ain't get graphic when she was in here sleeping with Peaches. Oh, this is, I, 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 I fast forward through this scene. I feel like why now they 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 keep they they keep opening this envelope even more, and I don't even need to see all of this. We already know they was messing around. Maybe I didn't need all of that. What, that's none of my business. Why you ain't want to see Shim? That is none of it? my business. Her, her licking the plastic. Look like she robbed, stuff. Look like she robbed Adam and Eve, and <laughs> and so and told her that and she can't even feel her doing that. I don't understand what was the purpose. I don't, of that. I'm not even What's the purpose of that. Oh, well, as a man, Henry, you I don't feel that. Yeah, yeah, as a man, so that's why I said, what is the purpose of that? Well, let, let me explain. It's it's the it's control. confusing. It's the power. It's it's her doing something that's making that woman him and Holly and try to run from her. That is just as much as a turn on. Yeah, for some actually, for me, it wouldn't be. I need to feel. Okay, well, let me ask y'all. Let me let let's get real graphic here. Then, do oh, you shit. think any <laughs> woman? Do, is, do you think any woman that's given head to a man feels something? That's true. That's true. You know, it's, it's, the, it's the mindset Say that again. of pleasuring the person. Yeah, exactly. That again. exactly. Because a lot of men who do go down on women, they not feeling nothing from that other than the woman hemming and hollering, that's screaming. Y'all be, no, mom, let me don't even. That's no, not no, no, Moochie, you are the senior. On this group, we need this to know your story. Dark. This you ain't not after dark. dark. Come on now. Yeah, Moochie, Moochie. This is day. People want life days no. after dark in the middle of the day. No, no. What, what was the purpose of showing that? What was the purpose of her showing a lick a piece piece of plastic like she's that was wild? Like it's coming. Like she's feeling her do that. 
She's not feeling that. It's it's a, power. Power. She's not feeling it's that. Power. She's not busting it's off. That, that's that's not even part of. Okay. It's power, Moochie. Power Some playing. people get off on power. Power like, and um, just knowing that they please you. It's just yeah. It's all, it's all it's in the power. head. It's on the mind. It's power. So it's now mind. let's get back to the, to the main he, point here. The difference between a, a woman doing that to a man and her doing that to that girl. It is a difference. A man, you when you doing that when a woman is doing that to a man, you are feeling all of that too. You're feeling all of that too. You feeling everything, and if you doing it right, so now do I need to get graphic? You no. feeling everything with your tongue. You feeling everything. The you're woman, connected. you saying your the woman connection is there for her is power. That's yeah, what it is. that's it's all power. it is with her. Yeah, it's power, and some people get off from that. I yeah. mean, yeah. I'm about to That's a mental thing. Janelle, it, it, uh oh, uh oh, Thank somebody, you. somebody calling somebody because they heard this conversation and they Ooh. don't got time to hell on. Look at Moochie giggling. Ooh. Look at Moochie, uh, Moochie, Moochie, one of her boyfriends done call her talking about girl. Somebody don't be talking that. Uh huh. But anyway, um, talk to me about Henry, uh, Monique. How did you feel about Henry? What was your thoughts? Is she going to be a tough person on the show? Where you, where, where we going with Henry? they building her up like she got you know the big kahunas so you know i guess she is to be feared um i mean well mo well technically you can go buy big kahunas from any store or you can go rob the store i mean there you go and put them on child we gonna see about this one i mean she get, get <laughs> she, gonna be, she gonna be the new big man on campus um this season so we're gonna see how this is all gonna work out that's all i'm gonna say right now okay Moochie, I think you done got all your thoughts out about Henrietta. Obviously, you're not feeling the character. Um, is there I anything I else? I don't say that. I'm trying to give it a chance. I'm trying yeah. to give her a chance. But if they do this big build-up thing and then she's taken out real easy, I'm going to be disappointed. She's not going to be She's not going to be taken out. And I'm going to even give y'all an early theory. Way down the road theory. I think she's going to take out Kevin or somebody big in the main cast. Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. The Kevin. little boy? Yeah, the little boy. Boy, what? what well, what that mean he getting out there? Or she what she how she going up in Juvie or something? How this happening? Because he in Juvie. It it she, he's probably gonna get out of Juvie and the coach cop is not gonna do something correctly with her and the daddy, and then that's gonna lead to Kevin's death. And well, I him, did say something yesterday when I did my recap. I feel like Coach Cop is going to throw her under, under the bus, and that would be a retaliation. I could see that happening. I definitely mm -hmm. could see that happening because mm -hmm. I did mention that. She's going to mess this up somehow because he's going to try to either throw them under the bus yep. because, or, or something. Cause, and and yeah. don't be surprised if me and him have a conversation because they was dealing before. Right, definitely. They was dealing before. And and and. and, and even though he got this axe to grind with him, mm -hmm. he still might work with him because he need that money. He desperate right now, Definitely. and he know he messed up by trying to um to you know this is all his fault because of how he was trying to like jam up E Mickey. Right. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll move on to this. <laughs> I give this one to Moochie first. Y'all gonna love this. Uh -oh. <laughs> Well, we go to the church, the woman-led <laughs> church, all right? And we find out that the Flannery women is smitten for things going on around the church. So we see Nikki has got her a dread head that she's got the hots for. But more importantly, we go to an event after the church, okay, where Nikki is trying to steal tampon. And mama ain't like that. Mama ain't like her insorting orifices all up in the you-know-what, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and while all that's going on, she quickly forgot about them tampons because we got to see Chocolate Thunder from Down Under, Maurice, mm -hmm. basically had Lucille super soaking her underwear uh -huh. so much. That Lucille went home, was fantasizing about this man, putting on fucking smell good. Charles was recognizing she was looking good. And when Charles came over there and touched her, it ruined her high. But I want to know how y'all felt about this. I, let me tell you why I didn't care for it before I give it to Moochie. Moochie, 
he don't know the situation going on with her and Lucille, but he do know she married. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he's making advances toward this woman regardless. I ain't care for that, but the floor is yours, Moochie. Because mm. Moochie, it wasn't like he said you need to come to my practice and get your back aligned. Well, no, he's not a spine doctor, my bad. It oh. ain't like he said you need to come to my practice and get your blood drawn or anything like that. He said we need to go to lunch. Yes. Yeah, and catch up. Two old yeah. friends catching up. Two Hell old no. friends catching up. If you marry, you bring your you bring Let your you too. Nah. Yep. I mean, did um let me ask you this, Lamont. Okay. Did Chuck did Chuck bring Luc Lucille to the strip club with me? Hold up, this ain't about Chuck. Did Chuck bring this, Lucille this, to the this, strip this, club this, with this, Maybe? This, 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 yeah. Okay, this now, not, now. This, this is about Chocolate Thunder yeah. from Down yeah. Under. Yeah. I separated yeah. him from Lucille. No, I did Chocolate okay. Thunder. Lamont. Chocolate Thunder only it's knows that Lucille is married. He okay. don't know. He don't know the dynamics of their relationship. Okay. So okay. what Lucille is doing? Hey, if y'all want to say all that, that's fine for Lucille, mm -hmm. but not for Chocolate Thunder Doctor from Down Under. Okay. All right, so chocolate thunder from down under Maurice Bond. They had a diggy diggy doc. <laughs> he the, the, listen. The diggy, that's what he's gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna be digging. He's gonna be digging. He's gonna be digging. Diggy, diggy, yeah, he's gonna be digging. He digging her. He digging All her because right. you know why she was the one that got away. Yep. That's she, what I said. He, she was supposed to marry him, but she married Charles instead. Ooh. So, so they all Charles having Bird. these questions of what if? What if we what were is together? Happening? What if I would have married you and not married Charles? I wouldn't be having two sons trying to eat cereal with water in the morning. I wouldn't have to be wearing this Wendy's uniform, working mm -hmm. up the block from the Easy Rest Motel where Easy you and where you and Mabel got it on. The Easy I wouldn't room. be I wouldn't be working at Wendy's up the block from the Easy Rest Motel. With the with the with the rickety bed. Has anybody ever heard of or seen an easy rest motel in the United States of America? Post your comments. Uh, but anyway, Detroit showed it. They they showed it in Detroit. It's right up the block from Wendy's, y'all. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, go ahead, Monique. Take the floor, Monique. Let's Detroit take people the easy showed rest. it. <laughs> Now you right, doctor over here, doctor chocolate over here. He obviously could care less that she's married. Care less. Um, he said, I want to catch up. You know, just two old friends catching up. You know, what's the harm in that? You know. So, yes, he doesn't care about the institution of marriage. Mm -mm. Now, Lucille is in a vulnerable state right now. Very. Her husband was sticking and jiving with her so-called friend. Very trifling behavior. Very trifling behavior. And we ain't talking one time, baby. This was in a full-blown affair. Mm -hmm. So my opinion is she has every right to go to lunch with this fella because Lucille is a lady and I don't think she gonna bust it wide open you know after one little lunch you know no 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 now if they keep kicking it for a period of time I mm. do think temptation may take over for Miss Lucille and like Muchi said it's that what if factor you know it's the you're the one that got away for Really, for both of them, I think they mm -hmm. her that way. So yeah, I know her mind is she's just <laughs> thinking about him and what if I married the doctor? And, ooh, 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 you still like me? You called me pretty. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I'm excited to see what's gonna go down with Doctor Chocolate. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> White, pretty white teeth. Mm -hmm. I know. Only thing you see in this picture is teeth yeah. and a lab coat. That's all you see. That's all you see. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's all. That's all that's she wants. The first thing see. you look at on somebody is their teeth. They clean. All, Lu all Lucille want to see is his teeth mm -hmm. in a bedroom setting. Because you turn them lights off, all thing you ain't gonna be able to see his ass. You'll mm -hmm. feel them, 
But yeah, Jay, we, Dave is, yeah. we all the same when the lights is out. Now let me ask y'all a question. <laughs> so I'm not even, you know, um, <laughs> let me ask y'all a quick question. Go for it. Now, do you think Dr. Chocolate, when he finds out of Lucille's life and her situation and how she's damn near poor and she's working at Wendy's, do you think it's going to be a turnoff for him or is he going to be cap and save a hoe? What you think? What, what's his? Uh, what's it his? ain't going to be no turnoff. It, it ain't it, gonna be no. Time it, it is not gonna be. He see. He is talking to this woman while she's standing there with her teenage daughter. Mm -hmm. And for some, some men, that can be a damn turn off because you're like you're gonna invade on my time. Mm -hmm. But he's so smitten for this woman. He yeah. don't give a damn about the daughter. He don't give a damn about the marriage. He <laughs> wants to see what's up. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I don't think. I literally don't think there's anything this woman can say to him. That can turn him off itself for my pussy radioactive. Ooh, Other than that, oh Lord, and, and that might not even <laughs> turn him off, you know. But anyway, y'all after dark, talking about cats and everything. Yeah, <laughs> oh God, <laughs> and Moochie and your ad lib. <laughs> Y'all, that's what you get when you come to a live with us. We don't pull many punches. We we take this thing to the extreme. And let's talk about somebody who took it to the extreme, okay? Mm -hmm. Michi done had his little luncheon with Angel. And I was a little off-putting with Angel. You have one dinner with a man that treats you well. And you talking about, okay, you was a good guy, blah, blah, blah. You don't even know to do. But understanding where she came from. How she done basically been put into the slave trade by Greeny. I can kind of see it a little bit. But in any event, Meech continues to show her that he really do care by beating up a dude that was treating her bad. Yeah. And after he beat this dude up, she gave him one of them boom boom room dances, y'all. Like the kind of dance she gave him is supposed to be done in the boom boom room, not in front of every damn body. Mm -hmm. And while she was giving him the boom boom room dance. Greeny was over there looking hot as hell. Mm -hmm. The damn arm in his hair was standing up like he touched the damn electrical socket. Mm -hmm. Moochie, you get the floor first on this one. Meech done put hands, paws, and feet on this dude because the way he was being disrespectful, but I still think Greeny orchestrated this for because after he got the plug, Meech was gone. Mm-hmm. So mm -hmm. I think that was all orchestrated. Mm -hmm. I, I, I believe Greeny is the master of it. So oh, okay. Wow. So. Mm, what you think, Momo? Um, well, I don't think it was orchestrated. Well, I didn't think what my, what my, um, um I, I damn I'm echoing bad. Okay. I we can't hear it. Okay, good. I do think that um, what's his name? Neo's character? Greeny. You know, I don't remember nobody's name, child. Greeny. <laughs> y'all know that's my, y'all know. <laughs> Greeny got his good eye on me because that's his woman, right? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Probably one of his women. One he of probably, his women, right. Well, that, that might be his main chick. I think that's his main, main. You know how these pimps do. So yeah. You can have one of these little other heifers, but this one right here, that's my bitch. So it's about to be trouble. Yes. Mm. Trouble, 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 trouble. Now, she definitely, I think that was genuine. When Meech stood up for her and beat that man's ass, she was like, oh, yes, honey. Mm -hmm. Let me give you a little something, something. I can't give you what I really want to give you. So mm -hmm. let me break you off with this little information. Wow. You seem like a good guy. Wow. Wow. Momo, that's great. And I'll, I'll, I'll add this to it, too. Considering she gave us the backstory of how she got to where she's at, mm -hmm. she obviously has some mental health trauma. I mean, that's Ooh. like I'm, I'm not being funny. y'all. I'm just saying for real. Back in those days, people wasn't diagnosing mental health because they were trying to act like it was a non motherfucking factor, boo. But it was. Mm -hmm. And she when you get PTSD, I can tell yeah. you. When you get thrown into a situation like this girl got thrown, she's got she's having some mental health. And yeah. when somebody comes along like a knight in shining armor, mm -hmm. you gravitate to that person. Like yeah, you, doing. you so used to abhorrent behavior that a little bit of kindness goes a long ways in your mind. And 
it went a long ways in her, but do I think she doesn't realize she's in a dangerous situation because Greeny is well connected in the community and Meech knows that this man is a part of his org his business. He kind of need Greeny right now. So I think Meech need to really play this pretty close. And yeah. Meech got to know that Greeny ain't feeling it. So we know Meech do play chess. So maybe Meech got a backup plan to getting his money washed that's not going to involve Greeny because he's going to have to. He's going to have to. Yeah, he has to. He know he can't trust him. Yep. He yeah, know yeah, he can't trust him. Um, called him a slime or a skeezer. Not a skeezer. He said a slime or sneaky. He called him something like that. So that whole conversation that her, him, and uh, and this girl had at dinner. Right. If he saw her as a person that changed everything. That changed her whole, uh, her whole to do list. Because mm -hmm. he probably had her where you gonna do this, you gonna do that. And we gonna set, we gonna line these dudes up, cause that's where I'm at with it. Like, right, she was right. part of the setup to get me set up too. Right, and she was getting bread from it too. Milking, milking, mm -hmm. and and Greeny not looking at the whole picture. Mm -hmm. Wow, well said, Mooch. Uh, I'll give this one to you first, Monique Nicole. Coach Cop knowing that they ain't got enough ends to get his son, he goes to a former cop who has ties to the police department and to politicians and all that, but is a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. My boy Hartston Bratnabrig from uh, Jamie Foxx show. Mm -hmm. And he makes a deal with Coach Cop, but on the back end, we learn that his daughter is Henrietta. Yep. Floor is yours, Monique. What did you think about this whole situation with... So him and Coach Cop and the daughter. Yeah, this is interesting. This is gonna, this is, this is going to be a very interesting storyline. So help me understand what is um. Oh, God damn, what's this nigga name? Ball headed man. Oh, they both ball headed. Shit. Coach um, Detective Bryant. Bryant. Well, I can't remember his name. What What is Bryant trying to gain from meeting with old dude? Finances. Finan so Finances. Connections. He needs it all, and this dude. Is connected with judges, lawyers, all of it. He really so wants. What is, what is the other guy from JB Fox show? What is he gonna benefit? Who? He got money. He, he got no, no, no. He has no, no. I know how Brian is gonna benefit. How is the other guy gonna benefit? Well, well, you heard, you heard what he told Henrietta. I got a new worker for you. So oh. I think he, he about to put Coach Cop on them streets. Okay, yeah. that's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay. So, right. He's only suspended. He's not fired, y'all. Right. Yeah. right. So he, he, uh, having a cop on your payroll is, a, is, is a good. It's incredible. A good and he, and yeah. obviously, <clears throat> we all know Coach Cop, he's crooked. He crooked like the letter S. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Okay, so this yeah, this is gonna be a very interesting storyline. And then to add in the mix that old girl is his daughter. Oh mm -hmm. yes. And we're gonna definitely see them butt heads oh. for sure. They're gonna be we already saw there's a power struggle between them. There's a power struggle, and power Terry, struggle. Terry, Terry really messed up. The more I the, the, I was so mad at Terry this episode, but I'm gonna yeah, I, I got my track shoes under the desk. They not yeah. going. Okay. So I'm just lace them up. Don't lace them up yet, Moose. Don't lace them up yet, girl. Y'all, I have an idea, like my daughter say. Daddy, I have an idea. I have an idea. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> she do do. <laughs> yeah, she, she running up on me. I have an idea. Okay. <laughs> what if Henrietta, who I know is going to kill somebody big, what if it's not Kevin? What if it's her damn daddy to take oh, over yeah, the empire? Oh, yeah, I can see that. Mm. Mm. I can see that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what you said, you, you, Lamont. You did say she was just gonna be around for a while. Yeah, she that's the be... only. That's the only way I could see it if she take out her own father. Definitely, because if she take out her own father, or even persuade Detective Brian to do it, because he's desperate. He desperate. Need, he need a lawyer. Mm-hmm. Desperate. Now, <laughs> Mucci, you saw how she walked up in there talking, thinking that he called her. To let her take over the organization, and he was mm -hmm. like, "Nah, I got somebody that you're gonna put in your organization." And she was like, "I run my own shit." Mm -hmm. And he was like, "No, you don't. I'm dad. It's my sit your shim ass down and take, take these orders. Talk mm -hmm. about that movie." 
He telling her basically, nah, my reputation is on the line. So yep. this you gonna do my way. Right. He, you gonna put him on your payroll. She don't even know who he is. How you in the streets and you don't know who Detective Brian is? A dirty cop? How you don't know him? Okay, well, I forgot they from the birds. So that's why she don't know him. Right. So, I mean, is he really, she really going to be able to utilize him? I mean, if she doing runs and stuff like that back and forth, yeah, he could probably make sure he run interference so they don't get bagged on the road and stuff like that. But I don't know. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know. All right. Well, okay. the next one. The she next could do that. Yeah. The next, the next thing we're gonna talk about. I got a video for this because it went, it went that hard. Okay. All right, and I set it up like this: Michi is looking for a plug. Terry done disrespected the whole loco crew because he don't even know how to be a businessman. He didn't try mm -hmm. to figure out what these folks want or nothing. Yeah. And Meech done stage meeting up with the plug, and it was a damn ambush. And they would have been shot up until. This happened. I was tight, bro. Santiago no existe, bro. Bang, bang, we go. Hold on, man. This shit don't feel right. Mi gente. Don't you guys up there? Claro, bro. Like fucking Colombians against the MK. Santiago was never going to show. MK just going to ambush our ass. Yo. Mo Momo, you can just, you walk through the yeah. village. Yo, yeah. Meech is met up with Ty's plug loco because he heard how these guys hustle. And not only did he come and introduce himself, but he saved Michi. I'm trying to figure out how Loco figure out all that. He saved Michi. They they buddies now. And I love the way they showed this man not scared of a damn bullet. Now, folks, ain't nothing real life. Too. That was a, that was a fly plot because he was just, yeah. like doing some yeah. Matrix shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Matrix wasn't That's even it. out then. Right, right. <laughs> he nothing. Nah, he's just like you know, whatever. Let me smoke my cigar and keep it moving. Right. I, I mean, he and folks, did y'all see how his cigar got lit? A damn bullet hit the cigar and lit the damn cigar. I saw mm -hmm. that in my own two eyes. Floor is yours, Moochie. <laughs> that, that, that was like the best part. Like a lot of people ain't, I don't think people saw that. The cigar part. No, I, I saw it. That's, I, I don't think people saw that. I saw it. And that was the flyest part to me. Like that was my favorite part of the episode. Mm -hmm. That part, just him walking through there like that. Yeah. yeah but man. this is a good look. He came looking for them. <laughs> yep. And um, I mean, where can I go with this? I don't want to go too far ahead. No, go go where you want to go, cause um, I like I, the the relationship that him and Meech got. Mm -hmm. I was mad at Terry because look Terry was very rude. Terry's not a businessman, but go Terry ahead. Me off. Off. But if you look, all of that Spanish, you know. But they, okay, somebody told me the reason why he not messing with him is because. They know he messed with Boom. He don't even know Boom. That's Ty Washington to connect. Yeah. I don't know who got that. Someone right. said that last night. But right. that's not the case, y'all. He don't like him because he got a nasty attitude. He's not a good businessman, Terry. I got to keep reminding myself, though, he's younger. So that's where I, I keep that. I, I, I chalk that down to his age. Mm -hmm. But as far as, as, as he was so rude, yo, if you would have been nice, you wouldn't even have to meet up with him yet. Exactly. You would have been the plug. Right. You messed that up by you being rude. Well, Moochie, I don't think that they would have messed with Terry. They would have still wanted to meet Michi. They remember, still wanted to meet Meech, but he still could have got something to hold him down because they would have knew what they was looking right. for. He, right. He could have got He knows Spanish. Right. Right. And didn't use none of it. Didn't you? Uh, yes, he did. When he said that F, F A part. When he said that. Well, that, that still ain't he, using it. He, 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 he's using like a little like slang to throw at him. He was yeah, just he being did. very rude. He was disgusting yeah. to me. He was he, very he pissed dismissive. Me off. He pissed me off this whole episode. Me too. He did. Me too. Go, go jump on in there, Momo. I, I do like the introduction to Loco. Yeah, I, I like. Is he from Cali? Mm. I don't know. He gives me California vibes. But um, <laughs> We got a D hat on. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know. Well, I mean, he crossed the river from Colombia, so mm -hmm. I mean, Cuba, Cuba. Cuba, Cuba, excuse me, Cuba. 
Cuba. But nonetheless, I like it. This is going to be very interesting. Um, I agree with Moochie. Terry did piss me off the whole... I'm trying to figure out if you have some... If, if some dudes roll up on you, you got, right. some, you got some goons rolling up on you asking for your brother. You're not going to try to figure out what they want from him? from Like, what they want with your brother? What if it's danger heading his way? You just going... Oh, he in Atlanta. Nigga, what? what? I just don't remember in that scene... How did Terry know that they were good or bad? Like, you know what I'm saying? I, he didn't know nothing. No. He, was, he didn't know nothing. He was too far emotionally whipped at the moment. You know, he wasn't thinking clearly. Like, I don't understand if these dudes was trying to be rah-rah, right? Yeah. Terry know they need a plug. He know these dudes don't look like they fucking lawyers or doctors. <laughs> these dudes look like they might have a plug. Like, right. Terry, think. He, he hasn't been on his game um, in a little bit, but um, what else was I was going to say? Um, now, my question. Right. The the black dudes that came uh, guns blazing, right? Were they yeah. after Meech? Yes. Okay. It, okay. it was the MKs. It was an ambush. Oh, okay. okay. Meech was supposed to have been meeting um, a plug there. Okay. And it was never going to happen because the MKs was going to ambush Meech and take yeah. his butt out. Gotcha. That was the plug he was supposed to meet there. I see. That this, the girl told him about. I forgot right. her name. Angel. That, yeah, that's where that's where Angel told him to meet the people there. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying that whole Ooh. thing is genie. Oh. I think she told him to meet him there, but she told him the wrong time because she likes him. So Moochie, you think it's more greeny mm -hmm. than sex? I think it's I think it's Greeny between Greeny and and him. Okay, okay. this is okay. interesting. Okay. It's coming from both of them. I don't know if they working together. Right. I think I think they working together. <laughs> it seemed like they are. Right. And for that reason, I'm gonna say that it because it's a it solidified that they was working together when he didn't when when Loco didn't shake his hand. Because mm -hmm. Loco knows something. Because remember, that's exactly. how Washington got right. So he Lo knows something. Loco didn't want to have nothing to do with stacks. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Now, re remember, re to, to Moochie's point, remember how Michi got to meet the Detroit organization in Atlanta through Greeny. Okay. So yeah. Stacks and Greeny already know each other. So I can easily see how that works out. Um, appreciate you, Monique. Sixty nine ways Johnson came through with a cash out. We appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Now let's get on to to T. Done figured out. Look, I don't need you no more. And why they got this chicken here looking like St. Louis from Players Club? You know looking what? Just like St. Louis. You want to stop, right <laughs> stop right now? You want to stop right now? Well, I mean, look. <laughs> I, I mean. <laughs> Terry come in here and told her we don't need your stepped on drugs. And her face got so mad and wrinkled, it started going backwards and receding and shit. Look at them waves in her head. And next thing I know, she's all upset. She going back having sex again with Peaches and blow Peaches' head because she said her her <laughs> plug was giving her stepped on drugs. Monique, well, not getting to me. Because I was rushing, so I'm sorry, y'all. I only watched it one time, and I was rush watching it. Why did she kill fine ass? Was it in peaches? Peaches, yeah, peaches. Why, why she go ahead, her? go go ahead, Mucha. I'll give it to you. Okay. You she... want? Do you want to see Henry, or you want to see St. Louis, or you want to see? Henry? <laughs> Take that shit off the fucking screen. <laughs> 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 You are so stupid. <laughs> I'm glad, y'all. Good night. I'm talking out. Oh, this is what y'all get on a Monday during lunch. Life <laughs> ends after dark at lunchtime. I love it. Momo, ma'am. She took her out for the simple fact <laughs> is that she was cutting her out of this deal and the whole deal fell apart. Right. So what yo, not only is cool. she now she know that her stuff is stepped on because I guess she was getting it from Peaches. She was getting the dope from Peaches. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what it seemed like to me. And she had the weed. That's why she was putting the weed on top. Right. Remember, it was 28 a key with the weed on top. With the weed on top. Yeah. So she she 
basically, look, I don't, the deal is done. I'm, I'm, you know, and your, and your, your stuff is stepped on. She took her out. I don't understand why they even brought her back to took her out, take her yeah, out. Didn't yeah. make any sense. Right. I, I, this, I didn't understand. This, we didn't that. even need to see her. We yeah. didn't need to see that scene. We didn't need to see any of that. Yeah. It felt you could have had some random play that role. Really? Yeah. They it's just, little... to me, they put her in just to add that sex scene. That's, that's my thoughts. <laughs> and they gave I Adam and Eve a show all of that. Yeah, go ahead, jump on in there, Momo. Talk to us about St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say, man. I don't even know, bro. So Thank they you. had a deal. Like they focused. They had, <laughs> yo, take this off the screen. I cannot. Please. <laughs> so he cut a deal with all. <laughs> I'm done. You see what I got to deal with, y'all? Someone. In this group has to be the responsible one. And I guess it has to be me. Too. It's okay. I'm going to let them cut up. Oh my God. Okay. Well, why, why you want to talk about us cutting up? Talk over this. <laughs> no, get that off the screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fooling with y'all today, yo. It's Monday. Can we okay, eat? is this better? No, I don't want to see her ugly ass eat. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Well, ladies and gentlemen, she's not ugly in real she's life. Not okay, she's not. Like, it's just the she's, face that she's making. She's dressed the up on this the show. face that she's oh, making. She's dressed up on the <laughs> show to <laughs> look a up. certain way. In <laughs> real life, she's very attractive, Let but they've got her on the show looking like St. Louis. Not even like she's she gonna shoot daggers out her Let eyes when she's it looking up. at Terry. She's not like, up. what you mean the deal is up? What? <laughs> It was the facial <laughs> that she was making. Let me clear it up. Right. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> so she killed old girl because the drug eyes was stepped on? Yep. Yeah. I mean, I, that does get you killed in real life, though, if, if some stuff is stepped on. But is that her fault? Is that okay? No, but I mean, it's your fault for bringing it to me. Yeah, um, so and, and, then, and then at the end of the day, why you got to have sex with her and then blow her brains out? Yeah, that was so weird. That's what I'm saying. Like, wow. Like, it why, it why ain't you like you got a nut. That? You know what I mean? Like, it's not like you got a nut. And, you know, well, she could have just meat. went to the meat and ain't even get out the car. And she could have blew her brains out. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> You got a little freak a leak in the chip. Monique said, No, I said, 59 ways, Monique. No, she and Monique said, I ain't mind that scene. I bet you didn't, girl. I didn't either, Monique. I don't, I I don't know what these women talking about. I find about. the other chicks to be very attractive, so I was okay with seeing her assets mm -hmm. on the screen. Mm -hmm. But now she's gone, so shit, we ain't. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. All saying. right. Well, there's somebody we didn't talk about this whole live stream that we got to talk about and that's my girl detective jen and emerson <laughs> and this is what happened with them so we know emerson is multicultural she can speak mandarin we met jen's daddy at the restaurant and then we figure out that they got a lead on curtis because his dumb ass didn't cover up the license plate when he left from shooting saint and so they <laughs> follow him all the way here to the restaurant and <laughs> see terry and we learned that Detective Emerson might want some of that tea meat because she's kind of protecting him a little bit in terms of we don't know if he's guilty or not. But we also got to learn that this chick used to be on drugs. Like we getting mm -hmm. we getting a lot of her backstory. Mm -hmm. And so having said that, Mo, what do you think about Detective Emerson and Jen linking up and what she has gone through apparently in her life? Not really being of, I mean, she's from the suburban area, but yeah. she's gone through some trauma. Yeah, she kind of alluded to certain things from the first episode, you know, saying, you know, this is why I distance myself from my family and this, that, and the third. And, you know, you don't really know me. Don't judge me. Th those type of things that she said, you know, she, she's got some... A, a interesting history that I think is going to be unfolded. So, I mean, I don't really, I don't really have any predictions um, as of right now. I'm just kind of letting it all play out to see what their vibe is going to be. Right, right. Um, I, I do think they're probably going to get close and you know become friends and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. and you know probably gain like a respect for each other. But yeah, I mean it's it's going to be 
it's gonna be interesting. I, I'm just, you know, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how this goes. All right, Moochie, what you got? I like her. I like her, but I think she's slick. I think they all gonna put her undercover, mm. or she's gonna be thinking two steps ahead in areas that Jen is not. So that's why I say she's like. When I say Shaq and Kobe, Jen and Kobe, they gonna be like that working together. So I, I, I'm looking for I'm I'm enjoying a partnership. I'm enjoying is she gonna get back? Like, what happens when he comes back from suspension? Is he gonna stay suspended and come back? I'm talking about Detective Bryant and all that. Right. Like, what's gonna happen with that partnership? <clears throat> that partnership might be over. Yeah, I think she's done with his ass. Yeah, I think she that partnership. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't, I think Jen still care about him a little bit. She definitely care about the son. And yeah. this episode did not tell us what she's doing with them drugs at all. We don't know what the plan is with the drugs. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Remember, and they so, still got a they still had those two bags missing that B Mickey had. Right. Yeah. Right. They gotta put they, they and they gotta answer for those. They got to. Definitely got to. Now, Moochie, you know I love jumping into conspiracy. Do you think Detective Emerson woke her a little bit of that tea after what, after what Marquisha said? said? That's her type. Like, that's like, oh, yeah, I used to mess with some dudes like that. Like, that's mm. how she was. That's how I interpret it. Well, well like, I interpret it. I could see her, like, get, putting on some... Some big, like big earrings and doing getting you know getting her hair done and walking up in there and 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 really trying to smooth this guy and and then she know she if she's trying to smooth this guy and Terry get wind of it and hear her speak a little Mandarin mm -hmm. you know how he thinks he's a businessman already remember he was messing with the other chick that lost her lips right okay, right. okay so. Right. Got to keep him, you, if, if, and he always wants to act like he's like one of those upscale kind of dealers. Like he he's dealing with stuff that's liquidate people are liquidating this and that and all of that. You know what I'm saying? So he might end up getting jammed up because he think he's thinking once again he's the smartest person in the room. Mm -hmm. Right, easily. Okay, all right. Well, we'll end on this. Meech got his plug. They bonded at Michi's house. We learned all the trials and tribulations this man had to go through just to get to America. Mm -hmm. And Meech exchanged the pleasantries of all the trials and tribulations and adversities he had to go through being Pope. And so, Monique, how did you like this exchange with Meech getting this plug? And they end the episode with Meech falling on the floor happy that he's got his plug and they're going to do business. I love it. I thought it was a really nice scene. He's got another ally in his corner, which is always good. Business is going to be booming again. You know, I think Meech, honestly, he's the main reason why this whole thing kept going as long as it did. You know what I mean? He really is a businessman. He really is a hustler. And, um, yeah, I, I enjoyed the scene. I really did. Okay. All right. What you got on it, Moochie? I think this is going to be a good friendship. Yeah. Dude and him is going to be doing stuff worldwide. Definitely. I won't say this is going to be Meech's number two, but this is one of his guys. For sure. 100%. 100%. I cannot disagree with any of that. My man came through, took out the MKs with two dudes. Okay. Two, <laughs> two dudes took I out like his MKs. boy Javier. Yeah, man. So they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. Mm -hmm. And I wonder who's going to be the one to take out Greeny or Stax, you know, because now this man, Michi, he got Colombia. And um, where y'all say he came from? Puerto Rico. Cuba. 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 He got Cuba, Cuba. backing him now. Mm -hmm. And so you, this man is damn near going to be untouchable. He, but we about to see this whole nationwide empire start up. I loved it. And I can't yeah. wait to see this. Remember, he said he had a 20 year run. So, yeah, this is why. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. exactly. Um, let me take one quick comment from. Let's see here. Let's see here before we get out of here. <laughs> Mr. Bear Fact said, <laughs> "BMF turning into P Valley." <laughs> no, we, we we haven't gone that far just yet, Mr. Bear. <laughs> I mean, we close the strap on and shit. Yeah, that part. 
And mm -hmm. yeah, I guess they was like, all right, what the heck? We already in the strip club. Do -do 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 -do. Whoever was writing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yo, I'm dead, yo. <laughs> Shout out to the writer on this episode. You did a good job, my yeah, brother. What did y'all think overall of the episode? I loved it. I, I, I liked this, it. This episode, for me, it got a nine. Nine out of ten, definitely. Good. They, they, they bring in it this season. Yeah, they I, definitely I give it bring it. To them. They bring in it. Definitely bring it. And, yeah. and, and I'm intrigued. Um, and I'm open with it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back on Wednesday for another Life Games After Dark during the day live stream where we'll cover black news, movie news. We might talk about the damn Oscar. And John Cena, y'all might as well get ready to see him be the next big Hollywood star because he emasculated his damn self last night coming out there butt butterball naked using a cardboard ruler to cover up his junk. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that. So you know his career is about to take off and I would like to know what do you ladies have going on on your channels over the next couple of days. We'll start with you Moochie the Hammer. What's going on on your channel? Alright tonight we're going to be doing foreshadowing moments for BMF. I got my trailer breakdown for BMF. My re recap is already up. My, my thoughts. Mm -hmm. And I got my final thoughts for High Town, and we did the last recap for High Town. That's up already. Tomorrow, run DMC. Thursday is movie night with the ladies, and then you know, around and around it goes again with the maps. Damn, be booked and busy, y'all. Mm, what about you, Momo? What you got? This week, I think I'm going to treat my subscribers to a little bit of hot topics. I haven't done it in a while, but I think I'm ready to get back into the mess. So stay tuned for that. And of course, you already know Thursday night is me and Nita, the diva. We cover reality TV talk. So we're going to do Married to Medicine. We're going to do Love and Marriage DC and uh, Potomac. I'm, yeah, I'm over Potomac, y'all. But anyway, please stay tuned. Um, please turn on your notification bells for my channel. That way you will be notified whenever I drop new content. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, do the same thing for me to turn on those notifications. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Nita the Diva. We had reviewed the show that came out on Netflix this weekend, Damsel. And that's up here. We did a live stream, and it actually did pretty well. Um, fantasy is not a big thing on my channel, but we got about 2,000 views on the live stream, and the standalone video I did got over 10,000 views. So shout out to y'all and join, enjoying the content, and we will have Nita the Diva back to do a live with me sometime soon. Um, again, we'll be back Wednesday, maybe Thursday, to do another live stream talking about all the things going on in black movie news and other things as well. Be sure to download the Life Gangs podcast. All my live streams go up there. And come follow me on the TikTok. It is Life Gangs 1. You get to see me, Moochie, all my crew up there as well. And until that next sexy as hell video, y'all, we is out. Yeah.